Hello, I'm Suzanne Sterling, talking about the power of sound to bring us to certain states of consciousness. So sound, and particularly singing, changes our respiration, changes our heart rate, changes our brain waves, and therefore can change our consciousness. And we're starting to be able to prescribe certain states of consciousness through the use of sound. So for instance, in the past, ancient cultures used polyrhythms, i.e. rhythms that are coming from different places and sort of confuse the brain, to take us into states of trance. In the modern world, when we go out dancing to a club and the music is playing at 120 beats per minute, we all go into a trance state together. Literally, we're vibrating and we're going into sympathetic resonance with each other. We're stepping into the same state of consciousness through the use of rhythm. It is said that the shaman's rattle that beats often at 240 beats per minute can take us directly to the theta brainwave state, which is the state that we go into when we're in deep meditation. So we can actually use certain frequencies, beats per minute or hertz, i.e. vibrations per second, to bring ourselves to certain states of consciousness. And this is the power of sound. There's also something called binaural frequencies, which is the science of sound bringing the parts of the brain into balance with each other. For instance, if I put 100 hertz into one ear and 105 hertz into the other ear, the brain will do the math and go to 5 hertz. 5 hertz, again, is the theta brainwave state of consciousness. So literally, there are people making music today that holds these binaural frequencies, sometimes called hemisync music, that will bring us quite efficaciously, quite quickly into states of meditation. And we can use these to shift our consciousness in a moment. When we sing together, when we drum together, when we dance together, when we breathe together, when we practice yoga together, we're literally going to states of sympathetic resonance with each other. We're literally bringing ourselves into a state of oneness. In fact, there's a small part of the brain that tells us we're separate from everything else. And when we sing together, when we go into rhythmic entrainment together, when we go into sympathetic resonance together, that part of the brain measurably goes to sleep. So when we are chanting and singing and going into these states of consciousness together, we're literally having an experience of oneness, a measurable scientific experience of connection. Namaste and blessed be.